right, we'll focus on the first one, filtering the name of the file that is uploaded in case it has any spaces, or funny characters in it, extra dots, and things like that. So you can see here we're running the explode function on the file name. And we already discussed all that in the previous tutorials for this video textbook, so we're not going to go too in-depth about that again. What I'm going to show you here is right above that how to filter the file name before it even runs through the explode function there. And this will help you remove any spaces or funny characters that you have. So we're going to use the preg replace function on the file name variable. And the preg replace function will take three parameters here. First parameter is what you want to be replaced in the string. The second parameter is what you want to replace that with. In my case, I'm going to replace it with nothing, so I have nothing there between those single quotes you see. So it works as a way of stripping it out. It's not replacing. If I wanted to replace them all with capital H, then I just put a capital H there. But I want to replace it with nothing, so I'm stripping it. And the third parameter is the string that you want to send through this preg replace function. So in this case, what I want to be removed from the string, target everything except A through Z, any letters A through Z in the alphabet. It'll also accept the dot. You see the little dot there? So the dot can be in the file name as well. And any numbers 0 through 9 can also be in the file name. Anything else, like a space, an underscore, a hyphen, a question mark, whatever else might be in it, will be removed from the file name. So you'll have nothing but letters and numbers and dot. That's it. And this, the I on the end means it's non-case sensitive. So being non-case sensitive, if there's a capital A or a capital X within the file name, that will be retained just fine. Because we're signifying that it's non-case sensitive replaced by putting the I there. So if you wanted to allow underscore, you simply just add underscores in there. You want to allow comma, you just put a comma in there. That will allow it in the string. But if you don't want it, just make sure you allow just numbers and letters and dot. Okay, so that takes care of filtering the file name. Now let's say you want to not filter the file name, but replace it altogether and rename the file. So what you would do is go under here, after you get your file extension from the Kaboom array, you can easily use that extension now to help you rename the file. So you put the file name variable there, because we're about to change it now to something new. I'll show you how to make it a number that will more than likely never be used twice within your system. So first we'll put the timestamp, which generates a number for today. Then you add to that or concatenate to that the rand function which will give you a random number then add to that a string of dot and then add to that your file extension finally so what that'll give you is a nice number let's put a semicolon on the end here what that'll give you is a nice number because times because time generates a number that's a timestamp for today rand generates a random number then you just put the dot and the file extension back on to the file name. So what that'll do is effectively rename the file with a nice long number that will probably never be used twice within your system because you're adding time plus rand. Does that make sense? So it uses time and rand to generate a whole bunch of numbers that won't be used twice within my system. The likelihood of two numbers being duplicated using this method is, I don't know, the chances are very, 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 very low that it would occur. Now I'm going to comment that out because I'm not going to use it. But you guys can opt to use that kind of method. I'm going to use this filtering method where I just remove everything but letters, numbers, and the dot. If there's multiple dots in the file name, that's still no problem because we're using the end function on the kaboom array to just grab the file extension. So having multiple dots in the file name won't hurt anything. 